Hello, welcome back to the Moran Clan Rabbitry. Today, I'm building the poop chute for our third generation rabbit hutch. So I've got some wood, and I've got some of this plastic. So this stuff is FPVC sheets. They come uh, 24 inches by 36 inches. They're kind of a, a foamy plastic material. You know, they bend quite easy. Um, if you bend it too much, it will break, but it's easy to cut, it's it's a plastic of some kind. And it works really well for just redirecting the poop down into a, into a bucket. So that's what we're doing today. So this video is gonna be a little bit faster than my normal ones, because it's uh, getting ready to rain. So I've got four boards cut to 36 inches long. I've got two boards at 28 and a half inches long, because this is how wide the inside span of my rabbit hutches on the bottom and then I've got two boards that are cut to 23 and a half inches long these are going to be the uh, they get narrower so the chute gets narrower allowing uh, a trough to form as as it goes downwards toward the bucket funneling everything down to a bucket that'll be sitting underneath so 23 and a half inches long 36 and a half inches long or sorry 36 inches long and 28 and a half inches long. These are the uh, lengths that I'm using for my hutch. Yours will vary depending on how big your hutch is. All right, so the four 36 inch boards, I took a 45 degree notch out of the corner, about an inch in. Uh, that's gonna come handy in a little bit. So when we assemble this, we've got our 28 and a half inch board here, one of them. We got the 23 and a half inch board back here, and then our two 36 inch long boards. The tapered end goes on the widest end. That's so we can actually slot it up closer up to the uh, the fabric that the rabbits are sitting on, so it's not hanging so low. So we have a better slope for collection. And then I'm using the plastic. Yeah, I know it's a little short, but that's okay. Uh, I'm using the plastic here as a straight edge and as a guide for squaring this off. So I've got it clamped on this end, nice and straight. And on this end, I'm having to squeeze it down, but I'm comparing my overhang, which here I'm almost perfect. And I'm gonna drill my pilot holes, sink in a few screws, uh, two screws per corner, so eight screws, and then we'll attach this to the other side. You're gonna wanna mark the halfway point of your plastic sheet and then the halfway point on the inside of your boards and you're going to do that to either side I've already marked center of my 1x4 here and drilled pilot hole did the same on the other side now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using these three clamps two at the fat end and one at the skinny end here to line up my marks at either end here and here and then I'm going to drill my pot through my pilot hole to drill through the plastic and then I've got a nice fat and then I've got a nice fat washer on a, uh, a short screw but that screws gonna end up penetrating all the way through but just a little bit it doesn't matter it's gonna be on the bottom no one's gonna be down there okay there we have it one finished shoot it's wider at the top and then it funnels down to a nice swoop at the bottom. So all the poop just kind of funnels to the center and then down into a bucket. So this is one side. I've got to duplicate this for the other side. And then we'll just use some scrap wood to connect them in the middle. And that'll be centered over the bucket. We're just playing it by sight. Build it as we need it. Okay, so... Clamp on your your poop shoots. I already screwed that side on. But clamp them on, get them in place. Put your little cross members across, get them um, about the distance you want. Yes, I've got a screw in this side of it, but I can still pivot it and alter it to uh, as needed. This is just to help me get it in place because I'm only one person. Anyway, so do that, get it all screwed in. Here's little Cindy Hopper. Say hi, Cindy. 
Say hi. She's still getting to know us. Alright, so here we have it. Here's the finished poop shoot, as I keep calling it. Very simple. Just put a five gallon bucket underneath just to collect everything up as it falls through the, the grates in the bottom. Down the ramp into the bucket. And Miss Cindy Hopper. <laughs> She's still shy. When you're choosing your five gallon bucket, they don't come with holes, so you gotta make your own holes. The holes are gonna let urine and rainwater that'll get in there and any moisture out. It also allows the bugs, little bugs, to get up into the bottom of the bucket. And those bugs will help break down your rabbit manure. Just like that. So there's how I make my poop systems. Works pretty well. Does what we need it to do. Collects up all the poop and uh, makes it easy to dispose of. I then will either take that bucket and go and mix it into uh, or just dump it on top of the root systems of whatever plants I've got growing or I'll go and throw it in my composter and and add it to my regular compost. It's great for uh, for your yard, great for your, your grass, your garden, good for all that good stuff. I almost forgot the most important thing of the whole hutch. Gotta have your finishing touches.